Uh, for the weekend, we're having our first Xmas event here at Muskoka, so we're, we're doing um, a, a nice lounge here. Starting, I think, tomorrow evening, we're going to have uh, a full-blown ice lounge out on the uh, out on the deck. Um, it's going to go on all day Saturday, um, and we're also doing a um, um, holiday gifting exchange uh, in the brewery from 12 to 5 on Saturday as well. And then Saturday evening, um, we're going to convert the facility over and do a bit of a cocktails event from, I think, 6 to 9 p.m. as well. So just a great opportunity for people to come out and enjoy the facility, enjoy some, uh, you know, uh, cocktails, wine, beer, spirits and uh, enjoy the holiday season. Well, uh, not only that, it's a, it, definitely a great chance for people to come in to see this facility, but is there, there's also, I'm hearing that there's also a particular new product that you're trying to launch as well and get people going on. So talk about that a little bit. Well, we have a new product we've, we've just launched uh, recently called the Schnicket Stout. <laughs> and um, it's actually a product that we've created in conjunction with um, the Muskoka Roastery in, uh, in Huntsville. And so it's a, it's a stout beer that we've created here Andrew Crowder our, our lead brewer came up with the recipe and he um, actually um, used cold brewed coffee from Muskoka Roastery so we brought their beans in we ground them we made a cold brewed coffee then we blended it with with our stout to create the Schnicket stout and so I'm not sure if you know what Schnicket means or not let's talk about what that means so well, where, where did you come up with the name well it's, it's becoming increasingly more difficult in in the beer industry to come up with names that are unique and someone hasn't already grabbed right and so Todd Lewin our VP sales and marketing. Um, I think he spent about 48 hours straight going through um, the internet looking for words that had gone out of use in the English language and he, he uh, emailed me one Monday morning and said, I got it, I got the word, it's Shinnicket. And I said, I don't know what that is. And so Shinnicket is that feeling you get when um, you might, you know, jump into a cold lake and you, you get shivery or you feel a, a cold blast of wintry air and you, you start to shiver, that's Shinnicket. So Shinnicket Stout is being launched, um, you know, this weekend where it's platformed for it as well. We're doing, I think, an event tonight as well up in Huntsville with the Muskoka Roastery folks. So it should be fun. What was the thought process behind that of doing something like this? Well, uh, Xmas was developed because this is sort of a gap period in terms of events and programming in Muskoka. I wanted to do something to kind of kick off the winter season, uh, do something that was festive, that could appeal to a big audience. There's also a lot happening this weekend. So there's the Santa Claus Parade and there's also the Festival of Lights and uh, Moonlight Shopping. So it's just a great weekend to kind of anchor on the other events that are taking place. Now Gary touched on it a little bit about what Xmas is all about, but just to I I guess to reiterate, uh, talk about what do people expect or what are people going to expect this weekend? Mm -hmm. There's so much happening. So Friday night we are kicking off with a caroling party and right now we have about 90 carolers so it's going to be really festive. It's at the Pasta Tree and Smokehouse. Um, we will have a pianist that's singing and everyone will get sing-along books and everyone's supposed to wear their ugly Christmas sweater so it'll be a great kickoff to the weekend. <laughs> Um, on Saturday, we have a bidders workshop that we're doing. Um, so this is a make your own, learn how to make your own uh, holiday cocktails. Uh, we will also have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the Get Schnicket in the Jack Frost Ice Lounge. On Saturday, we'll have live music all day. We have three different artists. Uh, we're also handing out uh, complimentary turkey sliders with Emily Richards, who is a um, celebrity chef and a cookbook author so she'll be here doing that free all day uh, as well as free live music and so hopefully uh, we'll get a little bit of snow it's like really I think you know we've, we're actually pretty lucky so far um, and then Saturday evening we have our signature event called mix it up get into the holiday spirits so we have some amazing brands that are coming up. It's ten dollars get in, five dollars for food and um, for any cocktail, which is a great deal. Um, and so we have all kinds of brands, everything from wine to tequila to craft whiskeys. Of course, we have a number of craft beers. Um, and then Sunday we'll have the ice lounge as well. So we also have a holiday gifting market that's taking place here at the brewery on Saturday during the day. So lots happening for our first year. Yeah, we're really excited and we hope uh, lots of people will come out and support us. I, and I, maybe my, oh, one of my last questions for you is why partner with uh, Muskoka Brewery for this type of event? 
I, I, it seems like it's a pretty good fit. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, it's a great fit and they've been an amazing partner. They've been really supportive and it's uh, not only is it a fabulous venue, they've got a great uh, patio up front which is the perfect place to have our ice lounge. Uh, they've been super supportive as well of you know working with other brands and really just building community events as a whole. Um, they've always obviously been a big supporter of community events in general and they really came behind me and, and uh, have been great in every way. So perfect. yeah, they've been a fabulous, the perfect partner for Xmas. Perfect. And I just, if anybody wanted to just get more information, just a refresher of where can they get this more information about Xmas? For sure, that'd be great. Um, www.eventsinmuskoka.com is where you can purchase all the tickets. Um, the ice lounge is free, the holiday gifting market is free, so people can just come in for that. Uh, the caroling party also includes a three course meal, I forgot to mention that. So for $35, you can get a three course meal and two hours of caroling, two hours of singing, yes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so tickets can be purchased online and uh, you can find out more information about our partners and the other people involved in the festival. So, perfect.